Why not? I'm filming. Ted Wyman here in Mont Tremblant, Quebec, uh, with Kyle Walters, the general manager of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. We're here at the CFL meetings, GMs, coaches, presidents. A lot to get done this week, I guess. Every, everybody here. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you like that uh, situation? Because it wasn't always like this. It wasn't always all the coaches as well. You brought everybody in, and, and you're getting a lot more information and I ideas exchanged. Yeah, I think. You know, the presidents met today with the league. Tonight, the GMs and the head coaches will sit down. And the big one is tomorrow. I, I think it's real valuable that the coaches are here so they can hear the state of the league and they can understand some of the decision-making processes, you know, instead of just going from the presidents to the GMs to the coaches to, to their staff and, and trickle-down effect. Everyone gets to hear it from the same voice. And, and I think the more people on board and hearing the rationale why some decisions are made for our league, the better. It seems like the hottest button issue that people are talking about is the uh, negotiations for a new collective bargaining agreement with the players. We know that those negotiations haven't started yet and it's putting a little bit of question marks about what's going to happen when free agency opens or even with current players who are under contract but need new contracts. Sure. How's it been for you? Well, I, th I think in any CBA year, uh, some of the same issues arise and it was no different last time. Uh, I can speak from our from our standpoint, it's been kind of business as usual. You, you know, the year ends up, uh, some of the young American guys or some of the Canadian guys want to test the NFL market, so they go down and, and you give them their time to do that. Uh, some of the guys who want to stick around, you start talking contracts and, and some guys want to wait for free agency, regardless of the year. So uh, this year hasn't been any different up till now, so we'll see once yeah, once free agency kicks in, but uh, you know we've we've been re-signing a few guys, and and it, as I said, from our standpoint, it's been status quo relative to other years. And something new for you, you and Mike O'Shea are going down to Mexico for a, a combine and draft this weekend. That's going to be pretty. Yeah, good. it's going to be very interesting. We're off, you know, and fly. It's, it's not. There's no direct from Winnipeg <laughs> to Mexico City, so we got some some travel. On Friday, and then you know, kind of get the lay of the land Saturday, and we watch all the the young men run around Sunday, and then they'll, you know, we'll claim the rights of a few of them. So I, I you know, it's all we're worried about, you know, from, from the logistics of things in regards to how it all fits in, that can get sorted out. But uh, we're worried about going down there and trying to, you know, find some football players that we think can can fit in and, and help us win football games. I better leave it with uh, asking the question that all Bomber fans are going to want to know. How's negotiations going with Adam Big Hill? They're going. So as I said, we, we talked about it a little bit earlier that certain agents don't even want to discuss anything until the CBA is ratified. Certain guys have said, I want to go to free agency. Uh, Adam and his agent are, are you know, they're, we're, we're discussing numbers and we've been back and forth a little bit, but these, you know, especially with a, a player of that caliber, they tend to go a little bit slower. But we'll, uh, the, the positive thing is there's been discussions between, uh, between uh, Adam's agent and myself. Thank you very much. Kyle Walters, General Manager of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. At the CFL meetings in Mont-Tremblant, Quebec, I'm Ted Wyman.